Number 1. Dive into the world of ancient mysteries with the Baalbek Stones, some of the most enigmatic archaeological wonders. Nestled in modern-day Lebanon, Baalbek boasts stone blocks of astonishing sizes, with some weighing a staggering 1,000 tons. To put this into perspective, that's akin to the combined weight of three Boeing 747s. The captivating question surrounding the Baalbek stones is how our ancient predecessors, without the benefit of today's technology, managed to cut, transport, and position these monolithic stones with such precision. Various theories have been proposed, from the use of simple tools to massive labor forces or even the technique of rolling these stones over logs. Yet, a definitive answer remains elusive. Another layer to this mystery is the very purpose of these gargantuan blocks. Left and used in the quarry, it begs the question, were they destined for a monumental structure that remained unbuilt? The Baalbek stones aren't just a symbol of ancient architectural marvels, they stand as a testament to human ingenuity and pose enduring questions about the techniques and intentions behind such monumental endeavors. Number 2. The Moai of Easter Island, towering stone statues with solemn faces, continue to captivate and mystify. This remote island, situated in the Pacific Ocean, is adorned with these figures, many of which are monumental in size. They were meticulously crafted by the Rapa Nui people from compressed volcanic ash, with the largest completed moai, known as Paro, standing at about 33 feet in height and weighing 75 tons. But the ambition of the Rapa Nui didn't stop there. An unfinished statue, even more colossal, was discovered, which would have stood at 69 feet tall, with a weight nearing 270 tons upon completion. Yet, with all this grandeur, questions endure. One of the most profound, how were these massive statues, particularly the behemoths like Paro, moved and erected? Theories range from the use of intricate sleds or rollers to a potential walking method where the statues were rocked side to side. The precise techniques, however, remain a mystery. Additionally, the purpose and significance behind the Moai, whether as ancestral representations, spiritual symbols, or protective guardians, are yet to be conclusively determined. The Moai, therefore, stand not only as iconic monuments, but also as enduring enigmas in the vast realm of archaeology. Number 3. Teotihuacan, an ancient Mesoamerican city located just northeast of modern-day Mexico City, stands as a beacon of mystery, captivating archaeologists and historians alike. Covering approximately 8 square miles, this sprawling metropolis once radiated as a vibrant cultural, religious, and economic hub at its peak during the first half of the first millennium AD. Its skyline, punctuated by the towering Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, narrates tales of its past prominence. However, amidst its grandeur, Teotihuacan houses several enigmas. Its origins remain a matter of debate, while it rose to be one of the preeminent cities of the ancient world, the identity of its founders is elusive. The very name Teotihuacan, which translates to the city of the gods or where men become gods, was bestowed by the Aztecs long after the city's decline. The city's original name is still lost in the annals of time. Further deepening the mystery is the city's sudden descent around 550 AD. While theories span from internal conflicts to environmental factors, a definitive reason behind its swift abandonment remains undetermined. In a nutshell, while Teotihuacan remains a monumental testament to ancient Mesoamerican achievements, it equally embodies profound questions about its birth, zenith, and sudden downfall enigmas that continue to captivate. Number 4. In the dense jumbles of Mexico, the ancient city of Palenque reveals a treasure trove of Mayan history. Among its most enigmatic finds is the sarcophagus located within the Temple of the Inscriptions. This burial chamber, belonging to the Mayan ruler Pacal the Great, has been a subject of fascination and speculation since its discovery in the mid-20th century. At the heart of the chamber lies a beautifully crafted limestone slab, intricately detailed with carvings. This lid portrays Pakel in a seemingly otherworldly setting, with various interpretations suggesting he's either journeying to the afterlife, descending into the underworld, or perhaps even taking off in some form of ancient spacecraft, a theory that's fueled countless extraterrestrial and ancient astronaut speculations. While many scholars believe the carvings depict traditional Mayan symbols of death and rebirth, there's no definitive interpretation, and the exact meaning behind the intricate imagery remains elusive. Furthermore, the sophistication and precision of the carvings, given the era and tools available, raise questions on the techniques and knowledge possessed by the Mayan artisans. 
In essence, the Palenque sarcophagus is not just a burial artifact. It's a window into the rich tapestry of Mayan culture, beliefs, and their profound understanding of the cosmos, yet one that continues to hold secrets, leaving us both in awe and wonder. Number 5. Sprinkled across ancient Mesoamerican sites, colossal stone sculptures known as the Olmec heads demand our attention. Created by the Olmec civilization, which thrived around 1200 to 400 BC, these grand monuments, some weighing up to 20 tons, exhibit detailed facial features that capture a unique blend of realism and majesty. Carved from massive basalt boulders, each head sports a distinctive helmet, hinting perhaps at warfare, athletic prowess, or elite status. Yet, precisely who or what these heads represent remains a topic of debate. Some scholars propose their portraits of powerful rulers or elite warriors, while others see them as representations of ball players. Adding to the enigma is the sheer logistics of their creation. How did the Almecs, without the aid of metal tools, carve such intricate details? And once sculpted, how did they transport these monolithic creations across challenging terrains without the use of the wheel or draft animals? Furthermore, why the heads? What was their significance in the grand tapestry of Almec culture and religious practices? The Almec heads are not mere relics of a bygone era. They stand as silent witnesses to the brilliance of a civilization and its uncanny ability to create on a monumental scale. Yet, they leave behind more questions than answers, continuing to intrigue and mystify. Number 6. In the heart of Bosnia and Herzegovina lies a controversial and puzzling set of structures commonly referred to as the Bosnian Pyramids. Discovered in the early 21st century near the town of Visoko, these pyramid-shaped hills have stirred extensive debate within the archaeological community. The largest among them, dubbed the Pyramid of the Sun, rivals the Great Pyramid of Giza in size. Initial proponents claimed that man-made tunnels, chambers, and stone blocks found within suggest an ancient civilization's hand at work, potentially predating known ancient cultures. However, here's where the mystery deepens. While some enthusiasts believe these pyramids could reshape our understanding of European history, many experts and archaeologists challenge their authenticity. Critics argue that the so-called pyramids are naturally occurring formations known as flat irons and that the discovered tunnels and artifacts are either misinterpreted or misrepresented. So, what's really at the heart of these Bosnian hills? Ancient, undiscovered civilization? Or a series of natural formations misinterpreted as man-made structures? The Bosnian pyramids stand at the crossroads of genuine discovery and skepticism. As investigations continue, they remain enshrouded in uncertainty, challenging our grasp of the ancient world and urging us to question, explore, and discern. Number 7. Puma Punku, a name that resonates with mystery and awe, is a significant archaeological site situated in the Bolivian Andes. Part of the larger Tawanaku complex, Puma Punku is renowned for its advanced masonry and precise stone-cutting techniques. The stones found here, many of which weigh several tons, are cut with laser-like precision, leading to interlocking structures that have withstood the test of time. The lingering questions are numerous. How did the ancient builders achieve such exactness, especially given the presumed absence of metal tools or advanced technology? And how were these colossal stones transported, given Puma Punku's altitude of nearly 13,000 feet and its distance from quarries? Furthermore, the purpose and cultural significance of Puma Punku remain subjects of debate. While it's believed to have held religious or ceremonial importance, its exact role within the broader Tawanaku civilization is unclear. What further complicates our understanding is the absence of any definitive written records from the Tawanaku culture, leaving only the stones as silent witnesses of an ancient brilliance. In essence, Puma Punku is not just an archaeological site, it's a puzzle, a testament to a civilization's capability and a challenge to our modern understanding of ancient achievements. Number 8. Scattered across the southern landscapes of Costa Rica, one encounters a perplexing site, nearly perfect stone spheres, ranging in size from mere centimeters to over 2 meters in diameter. Known locally as Las Bolas, these enigmatic objects date back to between 500 to 1500 AD and are attributed to the ancient Dequas culture. Crafted from hard igneous rock, the level of precision and symmetry in these spheres is astounding, especially considering the tools and technology presumed available at the time. How these artisans achieved such geometric perfection remains one of archaeology's pressing questions. 
Moreover, the purpose of these stone balls is still a subject of debate. Were they symbols of status or power? Astronomical tools? Markers for trade routes or boundaries? Theories abound, but a concrete answer remains elusive. Further deepening the mystery is the logistics of their placement. Given the weight of some of the larger spheres, reaching up to 16 tons, how were they transported and positioned so meticulously across varied terrains? Today, while many spheres reside near their original locations, some have been moved or damaged due to urbanization or treasure hunting myths. Still, they stand as a testament to a civilization's remarkable craftsmanship and a challenge to modern understanding. The mysterious spheres of Costa Rica remain silent sentinels of a past that beckons us to keep questioning, exploring, and marveling. Number 9. Perched atop a hill in West Java, Indonesia, lies Gunung Padang, a megalithic site that has both captivated and puzzled researchers. At first glance, it appears as a series of terraced fields dotted with standing stones, columns, and ancient artifacts. Yet, beneath the surface, Gunung Padang holds deeper mysteries. Initial excavations and ground-penetrating radar surveys have suggested that the site could be much older than previously thought, with some layers potentially dating back over 20,000 years, making it one of the oldest known man-made structures. If confirmed, this age challenges conventional theories about early human civilization in Southeast Asia. Moreover, the purpose of Gunung Padang remains a subject of debate. Some believe it to be a ceremonial or religious site, while others theorize it might have served astronomical purposes, given its alignment with certain celestial events. The construction techniques employed at the site and the origins of its builders are yet other pieces of the puzzle. How were these massive stones transported and positioned with the tools and technologies of the time? As research continues, Gunung Padang serves as both a historical treasure and an enigma. A testament to humanity's ancient past, it beckons experts and enthusiasts alike, urging us to revisit and perhaps rewrite the early chapters of human civilization. Number 10. In the Zhujiang province of China, near the village of Shiyan Beizuan, the Long Yu Grottoes offer a perplexing glimpse into the ancient world. Discovered in the 1990s, these vast, man-made caverns are a marvel of precision and scale. With their extensive chambers, intricate carvings, and vast pillars, the grottoes showcase a level of craftsmanship that is nothing short of astounding. The mystery deepens when considering their age and origins. Preliminary studies suggest these grottoes could be over 2,000 years old. Yet, despite their apparent historical significance, there is no record of their construction or purpose in ancient Chinese texts. How were the Long Yu grottoes built? The sheer volume of rock removed to carve these caverns is staggering. Given the tools presumably available during their construction, the effort would have been monumental. Yet, no debris or evidence of the tools used has been found. Furthermore, the purpose of these caverns remains enigmatic. Were they ceremonial sites, storage facilities, or something entirely different? As they stand, the Long Yu Grottoes challenge our understanding of ancient Chinese engineering and culture. Enveloped in silence and shadow, they beckon historians, archaeologists, and the curious to unravel the secrets they've held for millennia. I'm grateful you made it to the end. Your subscription is a huge motivation for me. If you like what you see, click subscribe and be a part of our journey.